Hello everyone, I am William Strife, and this video is about dealing with a small, problematic bug that you can run into in Fallout 3. Um, it has to do with NPCs in Megaton missing. Basically, any sort of NPC can go ahead and vanish in this game. And I wanted to do- and I wanted to address this particular bug in a manner that console owners could be able to solve this. On PC, it's simple and easy enough to fix, but the way that it works is, first, you have to get outside of Megaton. So, this is the gate, this is Lucas Sim's house. So, the first thing that you want to do is head inside, and if you have deactivated the Megaton bomb, then Lucas's house will be unlocked. But otherwise, it takes a 50 lockpick skill to get in here. Now, this is the easiest way to get up outside of the building, however, there is another way that you can do it. By coming down here next to Crater Side Supply and picking up this barrel. If by chance you do not have the favor of Lucas Sims or by chance you do not have a level 50 lockpick skill, then this is another method by which you can get up to the location you need to. You want to take this barrel and put it just over this overhang right here. So I'm doing that. There we go. And you want to be saving your game on a rel relatively frequent basis to make certain that you get all of this right. With the barrel in place, you want to stand next to the railing and just jump up onto it like so. It's uh, a lot more easy than it seems. Then you want to jump onto the barrel and then up onto the roof. Now once, once you're up here, you want to come up around here and up to this little balcony overlooking the entire town. What you want to do is get on top of that of Lucas's roof right here and get basically get right in front of that wind turbine. So the first thing that you're the first thing that you'll want to do is save your game right on top uh, right here because you don't want to uh, have to try to climb back up here whenever you fail because you probably will. What you want to do is Lucas is kind of in the way right now. There we go up onto the railing. I want to backtrack just a tiny bit so you have plenty of room to run. And what you want to do is try to run and jump right onto that pipe right there. Aha. There we go. Now this is the important part. This is um, where you might pull your hair out if you don't pay very, very close attention to how this works. You want to switch to third person. And as you can see, I'm standing right in the window, my feet. But I'm not touching the bottom windowsill. So I want to creep back a little bit at a time. Okay, there we go. See, now I'm actually standing on the solid ground. What I, what you want to do from there is point the camera all the way up, run forward, and mash the jump key. And you'll jump up to the top of the airplane. Switch back to third person. Now, once again, you want to save your game just to be absolutely certain that you don't screw this up. So I'll just save that. Okay, so once you're up here, you basically want to just run along the side of the airplane piece all the way back to the tail here. And what you want to try to do is keep the tip in your sight uh, as close to your crosshair as possible and spam the jump key. And once you jump off, you want to look in the direction that you want to land. Um, it takes some timing, it takes a little bit of skill, but for the most part, this is fairly easy to do once you understand what you're trying to get done. Just run along the back. Looking, looking, looking. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and I'm over. Now, obviously, you have to be... Uh, you have to have high enough health to be able to get over the wall this way, and um, moreover, you should bring healing items so you can fix your injuries after you get over the wall. But once that's done, you probably want to save your game one more time. At least one more time. And then once that's done, um, you need to find the NPC that's gone missing, and they almost always appear in the same location. You just want to head due north away from Megaton. And basically, if you look on your Pip-Boy, you're heading for the Springvale School, which is directly north. This is where they should appear on the map. Okay, so here I am. I've made it just north of Springvale School. And, like I said, here is a missing NPC. In this case, in my case, it's Walter, 
who runs the water processing plant. I can't turn my scrap metal into him unless he's still hanging around the water processing plant. And for some reason, he's managed to get out here. Like I said, this can uh, this glitch can apply to many, many different NPCs. Now, in order to get the NPC back to the city, because what you basically are trying to do is get the NPC outside the front gate and then run away and fast travel back to Megaton. Doing this will effectively force the NPC to warp back to where they should be, because they will be inside of the loaded area where you, the player, are located. So, in the case of Walter, because he'll run, what I have to do is strike him and keep my fists out so he'll continue to run from me. In the case of some NPCs, which will fight back, it's easier, because all you have to do is hit them and they'll chase you down. But in the case of Walter, I have to chase him back to Megaton, and that can be a bit of a tedious process, but it's obvious that that's a really straight shot. Um, something that I need to mention, though, is that the terrain, if you look like right over here, whoops, there are some strange pits and divots in the landscape that doesn't exist, like uh, in the landscape that is not painted, it's not textured. Uh, the landscape is still all here. It's just there's no skin on top of it to show you what's going on. So, a word of warning, save just before you try to make the NPC run, because there's a chance that they'll fall into a divot or something and they won't be able to get out. It's not actually possible to get the NPC out at that point. So, this is how it's going to work. I'm going to strike him. Okay, now he's running away from me, and I just have to do my best to chase him in the direction of Megaton. Okay, so I've chased him all the way back to Megaton, and basically what you need to do now at this point is get him close enough to the front gate and then exit combat by getting away from him. Okay, so he's running away. He's plenty close to the front gate. Now all I have to do is put my fists down. Okay, go into sneak mode. Once it says that I'm hidden again, it's good. Now what you want to do next is you want to bring up your Pip-Boy and fast travel to Megaton. Uh, this process will actually force Walter or whatever NPC that you're chasing back to Megaton, it'll force them to warp back to where they should be inside of the city walls. That being said, by attacking one citizen of Megaton, everybody in the town is going to be hostile to you. So what you want to do is tr fast travel back, turn around and immediately hightail it out of the city. Once you're done getting out, you need to just simply run away until you're safe and the citizens of Megaton are no longer trying to chase you down and kill you. Okay, so here I am in North Springvale, and if I go into sneak mode, you can see that I'm hidden, so now all I have to do is use the wait command and wait 24 hours in order for everybody in the town to stop being hostile to me. Okay, so I'm done waiting. It's been 24 hours. Now all I have to do is fast travel back to Megaton, and everyone is no longer hostile to me, so now all I need to do is head up to the water processing plant, and Walter should be back in his location exactly where he should be. And it should be the same case for any other NPCs who go vanishing from Megaton. Well, I'm William Strife, and I hope that you found this guide useful. If by chance you want to see more content from me, though, be certain to check out my Fallout 3 gameplay series. But otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.